Hello YouTube, it's that time of the year again, the sun's out, and everyone's out on their bikes. I just thought I'd do a little video about dealing with the hot weather. So I know I've been dealing with it, and it's all new to me, being on the bike. So I thought I'd give a rundown on how I've dealt with it. Um, try to stay cool, and keeping safe. So the first thing I've done is I've uh, bought some new Kevlar wolf jeans all the padding to keep myself nice and cool. Uh, I've got a checkered Kevlar lined uh, with padding uh, lumberjack shirt uh, and I've got a denim slash leather off cut for added a little bit of protection so I've got the back support in as well. Um, yeah, that's how I've kept it nice and cool. I've been riding around keeping fairly cool it's just when you're sitting down having a walk about and it gets a little bit warm um but yeah i've been looking at other riders re doing a bit of research on it um it's the people who are wearing full leathers in this weather are kind of utmost respectable because that is must be so uncomfortable in this heat um, they must be like a uh, oil in the bag biker, as I like to put it. They're just boiling, sweating, cooking. Um, yeah, well, the main the main reason I wanted to do this video was uh, something I've noticed a lot, and I'm sure everyone else has noticed and is in the same standpoint as me when it comes to uh, this. Is watching people um, riding when they've just got, I don't know, shorts, a vest or a t-shirt, and just the uh, hard hat, and maybe gloves. Um, to me, I think it's the most stupid thing someone can do, because even at 30 miles an hour, maybe even less, all you do is come off that bike, and uh, you're skidding down that road, no protection, your skin is not going to hold up against tarmac. Um, and I think it's unreal that people, people that will uh, ride it regardless. So, you know, maybe I'll be an over, whoa, where's all your gear? But to me, you should be in your full gear, keeping safe. Right. But yeah, it is a bit warm today. I've never ridden in shorts or a t-shirt. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me knowing. I'm sure it's a really refreshing feeling. I'm pretty sure it is. But for me, the risk is too great. Um, if you come up your bike, like I said, this non-existent skin left, it would be bone, it would be sliding at, just say, 45 miles an hour, you know, nothing but tarmac, nothing's holding up, protecting your skin for like that. However long the protection is meant to last for, I can't quite remember. seen someone riding a bike uh, around uh, must have been last week uh, in just a pair of flip flops and I thought that was insane just I uh, couldn't go over the fact that he was in flip flops um, I understand everyone wants to stay cool and things like that but it, it's a catch me too my way of saying cool is just keep riding the breeze is lovely I'm absolutely loving it yeah, I just wanted to say on this video, um, stay safe, wear your gear, if it means thinning down your gear, 
to bare essentials. You can also get really, really good textile jackets with all the air vents and things like that. Um, they're great, I've, I've got one. Uh, I didn't put it on today. I was just fancy a change. Doing this hot weather gums. A lot of people will laugh at the sprints because uh, as soon as it comes along, start moaning, oh, it's too hot. Oh, I can't cope. But in reality, we all, we all love it. It's like my favourite time of the year is when the sun's blasting out. Um, oh, yeah, as I keep saying, that road, people wearing inadequate clothing while riding just stumped me. Um, if you'd like to uh, leave a comment so we can discuss this, or if you've got a different standpoint, I'd be well up for listening to you, having a discussion about it. Just give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.